wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Finish this quickly. Let's go. Eat it. Ready to die? Think you can die? Just try. Perfect mayhem. Who wants some next? Come on, really? What's the deal with you and that exorcist, Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes. He's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor. Fish me now, demon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> <laughs> If you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Knock it off. Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. <sighs> She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four, one ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything, Luffy said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him.
Trouble at the docks, was there? Well, so long as the job was done. Good luck. I look forward to hearing your report. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities, but our job isn't to ask questions.
Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? Hey, that noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those Code Red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a waste of time. Look, the Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. I'd say Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, right? <sighs> I see where you're going with this. The Abbey is strong, both in its individual members and as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right. I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. I don't want us to bite off more than we can chew. That goes without saying. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to.
will be rust on my blade. Yeah. There. What on earth are guards doing here? Watch out! They've got Marlow Cube! There are no ordinary cell swords. <laughs> I suppose they were guarding. A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive? Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank goodness. 
I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yes, I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but it's also poisonous. Correct. So you were making medicine? Yes. They were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? Uh, I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. Our task is complete. Can you get back to Logris on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why apologize to me? We've done what we came for. Let's get back to the old lady.